Pilots, Drain Man here, and today I have got a very special video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out this all new, brand new, hot off the press Speedy B F7 V3 50 amp stack with a built in power meter right on the flight controller. You're not going to want to miss this. Let's go! All right, pilots, let's dive in and crack this puppy open. I know you're a little hooked on what I said in the beginning. It's got a power meter built into the flight controller, and you've got to be thinking like, well, how is that even possible? Just wait, you're gonna like this. So let's crack this puppy open. It comes in a beautiful box, everything ready to go. Uh, if you pop the top, oh, look at that, good God, it's gorgeous. I'm gonna pop this out and we're gonna set this to the side real quick. Just, just, just bear with me. Let's see what it comes with real quick. So you've got your Speedy B tag. If you're having any problems, they want you to know they do stand behind their stuff. And this is true. Not too long ago, I reviewed a mini stack by Speedy B and it wasn't a V2 or V3 or anything like that, but it was a beautiful stack. It was actually so great as a mini, I called it the not so mini stack because it was quite incredible and I flew it, I loved it, I still have it and I still love it. Now, if you're having any problems, they do stand behind. If you flip on the back, QR code, one for help and one for the app because this is what makes these flight controllers by Speedy B so incredible is everything you could ever ask for and more is at your fingertips on your phone. Let's see what comes inside. As you can see right here, it says accessories and let's see what we got. Pop the top and okay, so we've got our mounting gear. You do gotta love the grommets? Why is there only two? Oh, they've already grommified it out. And then they gave you two extra. Gotta love it. Also in the bag, you've got a couple O-rings and some nylon nuts. Now, we've got another bag here with a couple connectors. I can already recognize that is DJI by Speedy B Flight Controller. And then you've got an ESC to Flight Controller Jumper. You're gonna need that because this is a stack. You can connect them together. I mean, feel free to run them apart if you want to, but they were born together. They belong together. But things happen out in the field, and if you need to separate the two, do what you do. Also here, we've got a 1500 microfarad capacitor. It is a 35 volt, so it will do your 6S. Uh, and that's in a, it's a big boy. That's all I gotta say. That is a big capacitor. Also inside, you've got your mounting bolts. So two, four, five, you've got an extra if something goes wrong. I do like that they do that. When they give you just enough and then you lose one and now you're like ah. all right so you've got your uh 12 gauge xt60 connector and this is not the cheap one with the heat shrink this is the one with the actual connector mm. Mm. all right i'd show you but it's together tight lastly we have one final little pouch and there's quite a few connectors in here and you may be wondering why and there are four smaller ones and I'm going to point out their uses to you and there's some other stuff in here there's actually some prefab stuff not sure if you can see that they've actually prefabbed a few connectors together interesting that is beautiful so that is a beautiful heat sink and look at these pads these are beefy beefy pads and uh the heat sink is laid over your mosfets and it is for a reason it's to keep them cool and help dissipate heat uh you've got your little micro holes right there that's going to be for your capacitor i'll show you an example you just take your cap and you can literally go right through the holes just like that see that and you can do that from the top or the bottom and then you can fold it out of your way or whatever you decide to do with it. Uh, you can reach that from both top and bottom. Uh, you'll notice a little cutout here, okay? Let's go over this because if I flip this upside down, uh, there's a couple things to point out here and 
Uh, one of them is this huge TVS diode right here. That is a very, very powerful component when it comes to clearing out noise and making the ESC run nice and smooth. Now you do want to couple that with a capacitor and that's why they've given you this monstrous 1500. And if you actually run this, with this TVS diode, with this ESC, you're likely to not have any problems. So I would recommend finding a way to stuff that guy in there. But what I wanna show you is if I flip this over, we've got our connector, right? Our jumper where we just simply connect and it will jump over to our flight controller and everything will be all so happy. But it's happened in the past and it will happen in the future. If it hasn't happened to you yet, it will at some point, you're gonna break this connector. And when that moment happens, you really appreciate the flight controller and ESC manufacturers who take a moment to actually lay out all the pads for you. That's extra work, extra money, extra CNC, extra blah, 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 but it's there if you need it and you can't really say thank you until something bad happens and you need it. What I do wanna dive into next is this hunk of beauty. <laughs> God, look at that thing. Oh, oh, oh. Taking a look at our ESC flight controller combo, something very important to go over is that this is 33% faster. And the reason why is this big, beautiful chip right here. And we'll take a closer look at it here in a minute, but that is a Bluetooth slash Wi-Fi chip. It's an SMD chip that goes right on the board and it's it's really not expensive and it's very, very powerful and it's very, very fast. Now on this side, we've got a monstrous, monstrous data chip. If you're not a black boxer, it's really not that important, but it is a nice feature for the guys that do run it. You do have onboard OSD for analog. And if you're running DJI, there is a built-in Beck. You have a nine volt Beck that will run all of your DJI stuff without a problem, whether it's just a regular air unit or whether it's a Vista, it doesn't matter, it does it all. Now also they've tried to make this a little bit easier for everybody, so right here on the back there's a lot of plug action going on, and what that gives you is solder free for DJI, receiver, camera, VTX, GPS, and four LED strips, and that is why I held back from explaining this earlier, but that's what these are. So a lot of those LEDs come with those little connectors. They're just three prong. You've got ground, power, and signal. This, they've actually given you the plugs just in case you wanted to wire something else to it. You can buy a separate LED from a different brand, different maker, programmable, plug this in, solder it up, and do what you do. Pretty sweet. All right, let's take a quick look at something. I'm gonna head over to this little pouchy pouch right here. I'm gonna pull out the ESC to flight controller jumper. That's this right here. If you've purchased this or going to purchase this and wanna know how to connect it, let me show you. Come to the biggest plug, the one that's lined up right by all the pins that we talked about. Well, actually we talked about the pins on here, but guess what? They put them on here too. <laughs> Jesus, all right, so I'm gonna literally plug this in. Uh, which side doesn't matter, sometimes it does, but for Speedy B, it does not. That was a beautiful fit. All right, there we go, I'm connected, ready to roll. And what I wanna do is power this up with my power supply. And I've had, whew, gotta be careful, I've had things go wrong in the past, but uh, we're not gonna think like that, nothing's gonna happen. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay, we are live and... <gasps> Why is it sparking? All right, all right, all right. Okay, I, I want you guys to see this. This is big stuff. All right, I'm gonna flip this over just like this. And uh, let, me, let me just turn it for just a second. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in just a little bit more so you can see it and God, it's gorgeous, and it's it's right on the end, and all it is is, and if you're not familiar with LEDs at all, I've got a full video going over everything with LEDs. I will put a link for you down in the video description. It will help open your eyes a little bit to LEDs, how they work, understand them as far as in real life, but also with Betaflight, 
And you, what you're gonna see here is you're gonna see four LEDs, right? And then they took the silk layering, which is where they write on the boards, right? So like you see here, uh, F7, V3, you know, arrow, you see some writing on this, um, on this machine. Heat sink, sa same concept. That's nothing more than silk screening. And what they did is they silk screened the board to have like this little, little positive nipple deal and it heads over and actually makes this look like a battery. Look at that. That is a tiny little battery on the side of your board. So when you mount this, okay, you can see you can see this. Now I know, I know we've got, you know, we've got OSD in our goggles and everything else, but I don't have my goggles on right now and I don't know about this battery. I'm about to fly this pack. I, I don't know. I'll just plug it in and then I'll just I'll just look at my flight controller to find out. I mean, yeah, it'd be nice to have a digital readout, but why not be able to just quickly go, eh, I'm full, off to the sky. Or, this here is an LED strip by Z. See that? Those are beautiful LEDs in a nice little strip, but it's got this same connection that you're going to find, and that's ground power signal. You're going to see a lot of this, but now, and, and still, you have your wiring that they've given you if you want to wire your own and stuff, but you can buy something cool like this. You can even buy the Z's one. Doesn't matter. What you do is you just simply plug these in. Boom! And you can wire them wherever you want, and you can put them in any configuration that makes you happy. And in my LED video, I show you how to actually do all kinds of amazing stuff, from Larson scanners to you name it. You can have a blast with LEDs. Let's get back to powering this guy up. So I'm going to go positive, and I'm going to go ground. I'm going to try not to blow this thing up. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Not making a good connection. I'm going to pull out my... Soldering iron. I'm, I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to do a... Yeah, that'll, that'll probably fix it right there. Just putting a little bit of solder. Woo! Okay. So there you go. Problem solved. All right. We just needed something better to make contact. Oh! Get off them! Oh! Ho, ho. See what I'm saying? Now we are flashing yellow. And, you know, and you can do whatever you want to do, but I wanted you to see the boot button. Watch me now. Oh, back to red. What else we got? Is that it? Okay. All right. Yellow and red. That's fine. I can set it up how I want, though. That's the beauty of the LEDs. But I got to show you, and that's what I wanted you to see, is that they have multi-purpose the boot button to be able to do whatever it is that you wanted to do. All right. I'm going to unplug these LEDs. They're amazing. If you're interested, because they're bright, I'll put a link for you down in the video description on where you can get some of those. All right, Pod. So this is what I wanted to show you about the onboard power meter right? So we've got the little battery symbol. We've got our four LEDs that represent a full battery. So if the battery was to come down just a tiny bit, it would then drop to three bars. And if it reached that certain point, 50, 40%, we drop down to two bars and then so on and so forth. So I wanted to show you this. You can actually see that I'm not making this stuff up. I'm going to put my, my multimeter into uh, DC voltage, as you can see here. So I'm going to test this. And what you're going to find is that we're running what? 24.8. Let's take a peek. So there you go. We're at 24.8, which is representing a full battery. I mean, if it was, you know, 25.2, that would be full, full, but we're pretty much there. So I'm going to tone it down now and look, I'm going to drop the volt. Oh, oh, oh. so I'm now at 24.1. Let's take a quick peek. Where you at? Look, 24.18. So we are not at a full battery no more. And what does our LED bar tell us? It tells us that we have three bars. I know it's not all that crazy, but I think it's absolutely genius in a way that they've taken some LEDs, they've put a sensor in, to take an idea of where the LEDs are, and you can have such a simple but useful addition to your flight controller. I love it. I really, really do. So what kind of video would this be if we didn't jump into the Scopey Scope just for a second and take a look around? Woo. All right, pilots, so quick dive into the Scopey Scope. What you can see here is the beautiful ESC heatsink, and it's laying right on top of all these MOSFETs. And what it's doing is as those heat up, the heat can go into the heatsink, which is being fanned by your flight, causing uh, heat dissipation and keeping everything cooler. 
Fets that get hot equal explosion. So you want to keep your ESC cool if you can. Underneath, you can see all the capacitors. So you know that even though they've given you the external 1500 microfarad capacitor, you still have some onboard filtration. And in the center, you can actually see that this is a separate board. Look at that. So they've actually plastered on a separate board. And I'm, I'm sure that helps quite a bit with all sorts of stuff. But look at that. And then there's that monstrous TVS dial that we talked about. Don't want to spend a lot of time, but just a quick peek under the microscope. So there's your F7 MCU. So it's an ARM1 STM32 F722. This is a standard F7 chip. There's your arrow letting you know that the board is facing that way. Now, what I'm going to point out from this arrow is if I face the arrow this way and slide the board up. Oh! What do you know? They actually cut the PCB and added more space for your camera. All right, let's roll through some of these pads real quick. You've got everything from 5-volt ground, camera, camera control. You can see the little dotted line separating a few things. You've got a full UART here. Look at this. You've got a ground and one, two, three, four more motor pads. So if you want to run eight motors, you can. You've got telemetry to go with it full other UART here. Now this pad here, this is the 4V5. This is your 4.5 volt pad. And what makes this pad incredible, at least for this board, is it's powered by USB. So underneath, we also have a built-in barometer. That's this guy right here. Uh, moving along, this is our Wi-Fi slash Bluetooth chip. And right next to it is this very funny looking chip that a lot of guys are curious and like, hey, what is that? Uh, I've even received a few emails. This is your antenna, believe it or not. I know it looks like a fuse, but it's not. This is the antenna, which will communicate to your phone. And this new setup right here is supposed to be 33% faster. All right, moving along down here, you've got a whole slather of more pads, everything from SDA to SCL, 5 volt ground. LEDs, another LED, another LED battery ground buzzer minus and plus okay so what is this look at this power flight controller bluetooth and then look it's pointing to these three leds power flight controller bluetooth so we've got three led indicators letting us know what's on what's working what's right what's wrong that's pretty cool. And then you've got VTX if you're still running analog. All right, let's flip this board over and just take a quick peek. So here's all of your connectors that we talked about. LED, five volt ground, right? VTX, five volt ground, UART, which is probably gonna be for your smart audio. Then you've got your ground, five volt LED one. So they're even labeled LED one, LED two is around here somewhere. Okay, look at that. You've got a 4.5. So that's telling you that this is powered by USB. Here's another one. 4.5 ground, full UART, SDA, SEL, GPS. You can hook up your GPS and work on it, only connected by USB. Then you've got another LED pad, another LED pad. Here's our main connector that we just used to power the entire board. You've got all the pads broken out if something happens and you need to get to them. Do you know what that is? Oh, look, they wrote their name on it. That is a 512 megabyte onboard data flag. All right, pilots, that seems like just about it with this board. Uh, huge inductor, which is going to run your uh, regulators because you've got a 9 volt and a 5 volt. There's your 3.3 volt right there. What a beautiful board. I hope that you guys really enjoyed checking out this Speedy B F7 V3 with me. I hope that you guys want to see it get built. Let me know down in the comments. Do you want to see it get built? Otherwise, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next one.